Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this lecture, we are going to talk about R and K selected species. We have talked about that separately in different videos uh, where the theory has been discussed. But this time it is a trick, a tips and trick video that is a mnemonic video for CSR net preparation. So if you want to prepare and remember the difference between R and K selected species, the fundamental difference, then this video will help you to achieve that much and much faster. So I'll take the color and I'll write it for you. We are going to talk about R and K. R versus K selection. What is the difference between the two? And uh, to understand R and K selected species, like you know, we use different mnemonics, but this time I'm not going to use mnemonic, written mnemonic, but uh, instead we are going to see a, a visualization, okay, a visualization. So I have this mnemonic with uh, this notebook of mine. And uh, what I'll draw here, two separate things, one is the R selected species here and the K selected species here, right? What would be the difference? So for R selected, I'll be using blue color and it stated that <clears throat> in very simple words, we write as small and many, many small uh, and what is there inside is E, every single one of them I write E because E means early. What is early? I will be explaining it in a moment. And uh, this, this is short, the short of what? Short lifespan and you will also write it as 3. So this is a image representation of our selected species. Small in size, small in size, many in number. You can see this picture, small in size, every single circle, small in size, many in number, life span, sorry, life span is short, short life span with three means it follows type three survivorship curve. Okay, this is the story, small, many lifespan is short follows type 3 survivorship curve and why I wrote, uh, wrote E, E for early uh, reproduction, they reach reproductive age quite early. So these are the informations, all these five major information are imprinted from this small drawing. Now in contrary, in case selected species, I will explain with the red color, these are large and few, large and few and they have a long, what, what is long? Life cycle, the life cycle, the life span, not cycle, life span, life span, long life span and one means type one survivorship curve and what you write uh, here uh, is L, L for late late. So what does all this different information mean? So basically in K selected species we have uh, this L, L for large, remember L for large, large body size, they are large in, um, uh, in size of the body, large body size that is why large. The second one here is a less, so less number of less number of offspring, another L for less number of offspring, okay. Two L's are covered, the third L is late, so they reach late reproductive age. So the reproductive age is not early, unlike R selected. R selected organisms that reach the reproductive age quite faster while K selected reaches a reproductive age quite slow. Okay, the late reproductive age, later point of their age and the last L here is for long life span. The life span is long and they follow type 1 survivorship curve. Okay. So, in case of K selected species, it is all L, all L, large body size, L for less number of offspring, L for late reproductive age and L for long lifespan, all are with L, 
So actually it is a K-selected species but it is determined by the alphabet L. This is what you can remember, this is how you can remember. And also watch this image, the difference between this image, small dots, many E written on them and they have a short span. While uh, in case of K-selected species, large circles with late or L written uh, all over it, long lifespan. Okay, they follow type 1 survivorship for K and for R follows type 3 survivorship curve. That is how I can remember R and K selected species easily. Okay, the uh, definition, uh, the, the, if you see the, those are mainly small or like say cockroach, they belong to R selected species, while human belong to K selected species. This is how you can remember. So remember not only when you are forming mnemonics, not always it required to be a, a sentence, or written one it can be an image as well okay i believe it has a clear idea if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in future thank you bye